In the last episode, I did a bunch of thieving, and that thieving led me to Master Farmer, where I picked up an absolute ton of seeds. Unfortunately, not all of them are useful, but I did pick up 50 Renar seeds, which I have already started planting. And those Renar seeds are going to be amazing to make prayer potions. Why are prayer potions good? For Slayer. You might be thinking, why the heck do you care about training Slayer? Well, I did mention a little while ago I wanted to get Monkey Madness 2 done, and one of the requirements for Monkey Madness 2 is actually 69 Slayer, so I figure I might as well go ahead and just start working on that now, and thanks to the prayer potions, I should be able to AFK it a little more easily than I would have done otherwise. From Koran to Mauritania, RuneScape has no shortage of various types of alcoholic drinks, which is why I thought today's sponsor should be no different. This video is sponsored by Tipsy, a Directador Sake subscription service. I'm actually pretty lucky because they ended up sending me quite a few different varieties to try out, of course responsibly in the safety of my own home. So I don't really have the proper fancy glassware for this to pour them all out and make it look nice, so I'm just gonna... Before I tell you guys which one tasted the best, I have to say everything about this company was really professional, from the beautiful labeling on the bottles, even down to the packaging that everything was shipped in. Alright, now, back to the taste test. After having a little taste of all of these, I think the one I like the best is the Kuroshi one. I'm not much of a sake connoisseur, but I like this one a lot because it was full-bodied, tasted really, really nice, had a bit of a fruity flavor to it, and went down really smooth. If you guys want to try out the product for yourself, make sure you head over to www.tipsysake.com and use code LOWSOULGAMERS to get a special $20 discount on their sake subscription box. Thanks again to Tipsy for sponsoring this video, and please drink responsibly. I don't know why, but I always remember this quest being terrible, but thanks to Quest Helper, this was pretty quick and easy. So there is Taibo when I trio done. You might be wondering, why did I do that? Well, I need to complete this quest in order to do the Barbarian training to wear a Hasta. And I mean, we have a Zami Hasta. Shelby wants to train his strength using the Staff of the Dead, so I already have a higher strength level. I don't mind using the Hasta. Well, just like Taibo one I trio, that took like no time at all, and bam, I can now wear the Zami Hasta. It's gonna be a really nice weapon for training Slayer until we get whips, which I think Shelby is starting to work on now. One more thing I want to do before I start actually training Slayer is imbue my Slayer helmet. I figure I might as well do this, I already have the NMZ points anyway. It doesn't really benefit Melee Slayer, but if I have to range or mage any tasks, this means that I can actually do that and gain the bonuses from the Slayer helmet. I always like to say that Slayer is my favorite skill until I actually have to train it. When you're working on this skill passively, it's great, because you just get to kill a bunch of stuff around the game. But when you are trying to actually train it, there's level 62, halfway to my goal, it is just super slow. I'm not sure if it's going to be worth banking worm bones, but I'll probably do it for now. Oh, this is just going to be one of those tasks where I am thankful that I have a blowpipe, because that's gonna make this task just infinitely better, man. Turns out, even with the blowpipe, this worm task is so slow that I think I'm just gonna block them. For now, anyway, maybe if we get like a lance or something in the future, I'll come back. So slow, in fact, that I was able to do this birdhouse run and another herb run <laughs> in between the middle of the task. Alright, so I just picked up a Dagonoth's task. Hmm. I'm debating doing some solo racks to try and get us a second B-ring, because we still don't have one. It's probably worth doing. Alright, so I managed to get a hold of Shelby, and we're gonna duo all three. This is the setup I'm going with. I I think it's been actually five and a half years since I've done duo DKs. So, yeah. I don't know how this is gonna go. I gave Shelby the Guthans so that he can heal. I don't really have a good option <laughs> to heal. I was considering going on Ancients, but... Uh, Blood Blitz costs, uh, actually it's in the chat right here, uh, Blood Blitz costs 4 Blood runes per cast, and it doesn't heal that much. So we're just kind of hoping I can funnel all the food to myself, and Shelby can just heal with Guthans. I got a loop half a key. Can Whoa, dude, I have, you wanna know how many fucking tooth halves I have? How many? 12. Oh really? Because I got 4 loop halves from one Blood Bells task. <laughs> I only get two halves. I don't know why. I think I might be very biased on loops now, so it might even out between the both of us now. We're gonna have to check that. Melt. All right. Right. See, look. Speak of the devil. What, what did you get? You got it. <laughs> Come on, magic short bow. Hit a twenty. 
Or a zero, that's fine too. You do your best, baby. I mean, that that is true. That happened. I remember that. Yo! Uh... The Archer's Helm! Best in slot item for alking for money. We've actually made almost 100k <laughs> from this DK's task so far. It seriously, like, takes me back to, like, 2014, like, 2013, like, old, old school, where I see Archer in the Xbox, and I get so excited, and then it's not, and then I'm just depressed. Uh, that last Rex kill was 200 Dagonoth Rex kills without a Berserker ring. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I just oh, hey, speaking it. of levels, I just got a Slayer level. Oh, Use your Twitch Prime sub. Oh! oh! Dragon oh! X, the literal only drop that's... Actually, that's not true. It's not the only drop. Warrior Ring is useless, too. Man, this is a depressing uh, Dagonos task, huh? It actually is. Ah, all right. Well, this is the last kill we're going to be able to get here. I have 24 health, no food, because we've had just no food drops unless we get something right here. Berserker Ring. Oh! Wow, Addy plate body. All right, so uh, I only have 24 kills left on task. I I'm not gonna come back here for 24 kills. In the hundred and yeah, <laughs> good good luck. In the hundred or so kills, we got a dragon axe. Amazing. Oh, uh, I always forget that uh, with using the hosta, you get shared XP. So that's level 81 attack, and we're closing in on an HP and defense level as well. Now this task right here is exactly why I got the herb sack in the last episode. Pretty much every drop from here is seeds or herbs, and uh, I'm going to be picking all of them up because herb sack is so easy to use now that you can just open it and just pick things up off the ground. Hey, 89 hit points. And there is level 64 Slayer right at the end of this task, which by the way is absolutely nuts. Like I said, herb sack just makes this super nice because look, if I check this thing, that that's just... That's all sitting in there, you know, like 30 Marantils, 21 Terramin, 25 Harlander, a bunch of Renars, and it's just nice, man. Hey, that's a collection log slot. And my mic is nowhere near my face. Did not realize my herb runs were giving so much XP, but there is level 73 farming. And that is level 65 Slayer, which I believe, I can't really check right now, but I believe that unlocks Dust Devils, so if we start getting those tasks, that would be absolutely huge. I'm probably going to have to do some point boosting in the future pretty soon here, but I decided to unlock uh, boosted or extended dust devil tasks as well as jad tasks because I realized I have a blowpipe. So at this level, <laughs> jad tasks are probably extremely good experience per hour. So I had this idea. I brought the blowpipe and the serp helm with me to this fire giants task because I wanted to just tag all of them. And the reason I wanted to do this is because if you are using a Venom inflicting weapon while wearing the Serp Helm, it will always inflict Venom as long as you deal damage. So as long as I hit something with the Blowpipe while having the Serp Helm on, it'll get Venomed. My goal was to hit every single one of these like 15 Fire Giants and just let the Venom tick on all the ones that I can't actually reach while AFKing. The problem with that is apparently once an NPC gets out of combat, Venom no longer activates, which... Kind of sucks, man, because I thought that would be a really cool way to speed up my Fire Giants tasks. No, I, I'm, I'll am i be honest, I'm never going to catch a level as it happens while I'm doing Slayer. That's 91 strength, though. We're almost halfway to 99. And uh, it's incredibly slow training strength with Hosta because it's <laughs> shared XP, so. Okay. I just got a task of 10 Steel Dragons and decided to do it because I'm like, well, it won't take that long. And got a Dragon Plate Skirt. Okay. Uh, a little too soon on that one. Well, the Venoming Things strategy might not have worked super well on Fire Giants, but Black Demons is probably a really good place to do it because these things have very high HP and very high defense, so Venom gets to tick pretty long on them. And there is level 66 Slayer, which also gives me 1,675 total level. Casual herb lore level, well, just making potions to go back to training Slayer. Hey, another one. Finally, after like 10 Slayer tasks and like 3,000 things that can potentially spawn superiors, I got one, so this will definitely help the XP. And apparently I also didn't realize while killing that superior that I hit 85 range, so the combat stats are starting to look pretty nice. I might go to the bank here and just use up all of our banked prayer XP, because, I mean, why not? It's there, might as well use it. That's just perfect. I don't even have to get my own bracelets of slaughter because Shelby had a bunch of them. A 67 Slayer, just two levels to go. Did a quick little Tears of Guthix, which went into Runecraft as it should. 
Um, if you guys see any of my skills randomly going up, mostly the gathering ones like woodcutting or fishing, which they have gone up quite a few levels, it's just because that's what I do in my AFK time usually. Isn't that just the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? 244 dust devils, let's fucking go. Hey, there's 68 Slayer, just one more level to go. Whew. What? What is this task? First the dust battle staff and now a dragon spear. I mean, granted, I have a ring of wealth on, so it's not insanely, insanely rare, but still, all right. And I just realized I never even recorded the dust battle staff. But yeah, I got one. It's like one in 4,000. Somewhat useful, but not really. Well, that was unexpected. Uh, 74 farming while doing a herb run. Also, I know a lot of you guys have been asking after the video where I mentioned we would be working on skilling a bit more if I could include screenshots of the high scores to see where we're at. So we actually just broke back into the top 10, which is, you know, pretty cool. I don't really think we're ever going to get back to rank 1, but I'll put a picture on screen just to show you guys. And there we go, 69 Slayer as we are about to wrap up this Greater Demon task. I believe I still have to get some crafting levels as well, so I'll double check that after I finish this task up. So it looks like I need level 70 crafting, which is 7 levels above what I have right now, but thanks to some foresight i do have 8460 molten glass which i think should be enough to get me there here's our first crafting level level 64 six levels to go and it looks like i'm getting around 100k xp per hour i'll be honest i'm not really focusing that much because this is pretty relaxing and something i can just do in the background go that is 70 crafting that was really easy and i'm one total level away from 1700 so i think that's all i needed to do before monkey madness 2 i think just need the balloon route and then I'm good to go. So let's go ahead and get all that done. Well, I forgot I needed to complete the enlightened journey quest. So there is uh, that out of the way. And now let's go do the balloon route. And there we go. I forgot that actually gave you experience. That is the balloon route unlocked. I still don't really know why you need that for this quest, but that's all right. And so it begins. Ah, uh, yes, it is time for the maze. Everybody's favorite part of Monkey Madness 2. Second only, of course, to the platform. Alright, so it turns out Quest Helper is still actually so, 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 so broken because if you try to go a particular direction and it's not the right path, the marked path actually changes for you. So, best plugin. Most broken plugin, but best plugin. Okay, I lied about Quest Helper. It's actually really bad here. It keeps telling me to go the wrong way now. It was great before, though. And there we go. Kruk is down. Give me that body kind of paw all right yeah kind of weird just ripping off his paw all right moving on well i see our blue lines and blue squares everywhere but uh it is time for the actual worst part of any quest in the entire game and that is of course the platform of monkey madness 2 so i'm gonna hope i don't get caught i'm gonna try and be patient but uh yeah all right i didn't get caught once that was actually fine i guess patience pays off here Wait, what? <laughs> what? Uh, I did not know that was possible. I just got a long bone during the... What? Neve's just, Neve's just watching. Man, she doesn't even care. She doesn't even want to help. Look at her. Hey, Neve, you remember like 15 episodes ago when I said I would do Monkey Madness 2 soon because he gave me bad tasks? Yeah. Yeah, that's what you get. Oh, dang it. Okay, I gotta try again. I don't know if Arclade even works here. I, th I figured it did, but I might be wrong. Well, there we go. Second try. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Arclade does not work here. Either that, or I just got, like, astronomically unlucky. Sammy Hosta did the job just fine. Well, Monkey Madness 2 remains one of the worst quests in the game to me, but that is the completion of Monkey Madness 2. Ugh. God, that was brutal. Now, of course... The very nice thing about this is I get a royal seed pod. This is fantastic for any wilderness content because it's usable above level or above level 20, before level 30, and it's a one-click teleport. And there's one other thing that's really nice about completing this quest. Of course, one other thing, aside from the ability to kill demonics, one other thing. After the quest is done, you can come over here and talk to Duke, who gives you some pretty nice combat experience. And I'm going to put this into magic, which I believe you can do twice any day now it's just like the monkey madness one ridiculous delays on this here we go there's the first one and eventually 
there is the second one which gets me level 86 magic and 1700 total it's almost like i planned this or something so as you can see we're still working on total levels and coming closer and closer to the completion of a quest cape actually